Hey, Rob here for Quadratech. Today we're checking out the Warn Wireless Hub. This small device combined with its matching free app that's compatible with both Android smartphones and Apple iPhones will transform your phone into a wireless controller for your existing Warn winch. Now, how many times have you been on the trail and you need your winch only to realize that your remote is buried under a ton of gear in the back of your Jeep. Or maybe you've already used your winch once today on the trail and you know you set that remote down somewhere but you just can't find it. Or how many times have you been winching and you don't want to be tethered to your Jeep by the length of that wired winch remote? Well, with the Warren Wireless Hub and your smartphone, you have a working range of up to 100 feet, which is gonna give you the freedom to move all around your vehicle while you're setting up and during a recovery. The Warren Wireless Hub features a waterproof IP68 and IP69K rating, and it's compatible with most Warren winches, including their lineup of Warren Xeon, VR, VR Evo, Heavyweight, and Classic Series winches. Warren even has a hub designed to work with their UTV and ATV winches and one that's compatible with winches made by another manufacturer. Now, if you want to check out the full lineup of available Warren wireless hubs, you can click that info button to head over to quadratech.com. Now, getting your wireless hub set up is really easy. In fact, there's only three main steps. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. First thing we need to do is go ahead and remove the cover from the connector on the side of our winch and plug in that wireless hub connector there. Then you wanna go ahead and run that cable through your Jeep's grill and under the hood to a suitable mounting location. The wireless hub even features a cradle design on the backside to make it easy to mount on either flat or curved surfaces. You do have six feet of cable to work with. You wanna make sure you secure that with the provided zip ties. Now, once you have the app downloaded on your phone, we need to go ahead and start by putting the hub into pairing mode. We've got a yellow light on there indicating that we are connected to the winch and we do have power. If we depress that red button for a couple seconds, it's gonna to change to a slowly flashing blue light, letting us know it's ready to pair with your smartphone. Go ahead and open up the Warn Wireless Hub app. Give it a few seconds to come online here. Hit okay, run through all those agreements, and it's gonna walk you through the steps to connect to the receiver. It does work off of Bluetooth technology, so once you see that Bluetooth pairing request, go ahead and pair your phone with the wireless hub receiver. Hit continue, and it will even let us give our wireless hub a custom name. I'm gonna go ahead and call this one Overkill to match the Jeep. We can pick that we're a truck and SUV winch and then select from the lineup of winches here. We've got a VR winch on the front of Overkill, so we'll select that. And now at this point, we're ready to go ahead and start winching. Now, Warren has thought about safety when using your phone as a wireless winch remote, so there are some fail safes built into the app here. For one, anytime you open that app up, well, you've got to actively hold to unlock the controls on the app. If you ever put that app into the background and use a different app. When you come back into the hub, again, we're going to have to actively unlock the controls on there. If you should put your phone in your pocket and cover up the proximity sensor, well, it's gonna make the screen go dark, again, preventing you from accidentally activating your winch when you're not intending to. Now, I like that they've kept the interface very simple here. We have three main elements. We have a winch in icon with the winch symbol there, winch line out with the hook there, and right at the top of the app, we've got that great battery indicator to help us monitor the voltage status of your Jeep. Of course, what's the point of completing that recovery to only find out that you've totally drained your battery and now you're stuck on the side of the trail? So this is really great because you can monitor your battery status while you're completing that recovery. Now to spool out some winch, all we gotta do is go ahead and tap that winch out button. You'll see our winch immediately responds by spooling some cable out there for us. We also get a status feedback from the app in the way of a small vibration to let you know that your winch is actively being controlled. To go ahead and spool some line back in, we'll tap the winch in button there with the winch icon. And during both of those, you could see that we did have some movement on the battery status indicator, letting us know the condition of our battery while we're winching. Now you can even pair the wireless hub app with multiple receivers, allowing you to control multiple Jeeps. If you've got more than one Jeep, 
Go ahead and install one of those wireless hubs on each one. You can control that by clicking that drop down menu right there on the top of the app to select the Jeep that you want to actively control. Now, if you guys want to get more information or to purchase a Warn wireless hub, to go with their free downloadable hub app for your smartphone to turn your phone into a wireless controller for your existing winch. You can click that info button to head over to quadratech.com. Of course, if you have any comments or questions about the wireless hub or how to get it installed, you can always do those for me down in the comment section below or contact us directly at any of the options on the screen. And as always, if you haven't already and you like these videos, do me a huge favor, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification icon so be sure to catch all of our latest videos. Till next time, I'm Rob. I'll see you guys out on the trail.